First, developing news out of the State House tonight. We have a budget. Governor Chafee puts pen to paper to sign the $8.7 billion budget blueprint into law. Among the highlights of the spending plan, $12.3 million in taxpayer dollars to pay for the 38 studios debt. The bill cuts the corporate rate from 9 to 7 percent. It also does away with the tolls on the Sakonet River Bridge. And that paves the way for a series of increases in the 33 cent gasoline tax in the state. Legislators are rushing now to wrap up the session, maybe by late tonight, early tomorrow morning. Several bills still need a vote. It is a busy time up at the State House, but political reporter Bill Rapley is up there to break it all down for us. Bill? Sure is a busy time, and like you said, Gene, we don't know if they're going to be able to finish up tonight or spill over again into tomorrow, but there at this time of year, always an avalanche of bills kicked off by the passage of the budget last week, signed by the governor today. Handing out pens to all the legislative leaders that could crowd around the table, Governor Chafee says he's proud of this budget. See, I think that the most important uh, news out of this budget is that we're lowering the corporate tax in this state from 9% to 7% and paying for it. It was a cooperative effort, and leaders from both the House and the Senate praised the plan, hoping it will attract business. I'm tired of being last in unemployment and so low on so many of the ratings. Business, as usual, cannot stand. We cannot stand for it. We had to make a change. We will have a dedicated funding stream to improve our state infrastructure. The quality of our roads and bridges is important to quality of life as well as economic development. But it's that revenue stream that kept a few legislators from even signing the budget. No tolls are replaced with a gas tax hike and higher fees at the Division of Motor Vehicles. Where is the, the money previously that was supposed to go to fixing the roads. So now what we're going to do, we're going to put it back on the back of the taxpayers. That's not the right thing to do. You can't keep raising taxes and not seeing any progress being made. It's like now she said also the 38 studios payment included in this budget would have prohibited her from voting on it. And when it comes to that infrastructure fund, while indeed it does raise some of those fees, it means no tolls on the Sakonet River Bridge. And in fact, Governor Chafee has ordered that those tolls be dismantled, certainly stop collecting them by noontime tomorrow. I'm Bill Rapley, NBC 10 News, inside the Statehouse.